Hello and welcome back to another tag reveal. Uh, you'll notice last time I had some audio issues. I think I fixed that. I was a little too close to the mic. Then again, who am I kidding? Those people aren't coming back. So welcome to the channel for your first time. This is going to be an exciting tag reveal. Uh, we do have one disappointing thing here. Just like with SGC, they do not grade what they consider to be art cards. So let's go ahead and pull that out. This is uh, your first time seeing tag. We get the cool little uh, what would Jesus do thing. Or as I said previously, that guy who rides bikes. So yeah, another Macklin Celebrini. This is upsetting because the plan was to get this graded would have been a 9 or a 10. Also have SGC grade 1 also would have been a 9 or a 10. The draft being tomorrow night, this would have gone on a Sunday to Sunday auction, and then we could have done a heads up comparison. Unfortunately, that can't happen now. Still Macklin celebrating your number one draft pick, San Jose Sharks. So that leaves us with nine. Oh, we also got other stuff in here. I forgot. Team bag for some reason. I'm not sure why. Tag sticker, some more packaging, a bunch more team bags. Invoice. So let's crank it out. A couple of these, again, I already cheated on. Three of these were for gifts for my uh, niece and nephew. Nieces and one nephew. Let's see. All right, so there's skiing. I'm going to get them in order of what I don't know already. And the reason why I'm separating. So we got a Bo Horvat, a Pete Alonzo, and a Ray Ripley. They can't all like the same sport, so we got to do baseball, hockey, and wrestling. Okay, so there's the gifts. We'll do those later. Hey, you know what? We'll do those now since I already know them. That'll be more fun. You don't know them, obviously, but I do. So here's the Pete Alonzo. This was disappointing, but I thought the card was beautiful, and I wanted to give this to my nephew as a gift. I'm putting together a collection, each of these players, for Christmas, but prior to Christmas, they have birthdays, so I was going to give each of them what I thought was going to be a perfect card for their birthday. I will have to definitely check out the dig report. And if you saw the last video, you saw us a little overwhelmed with the dig report. I've had some more time to go through them. So we'll do that also at the end of this video, because I would like to know why this card to 99. And I, I'm sorry, I keep looking down while I'm flashing you. Either way, it's a nice looking card. It really is. And that'll, that'll good, be good for his collection. So let's move on to Bo Horvat, New York Islanders, short time. Another 8.5, also disappointing. But I did find out, and this was kind of cool. So this one is the turquoise variant. There's also a light steel blue. That's what I chose, and they said, no, it's actually turquoise. I can't tell the difference. But this one, again, I'm trying to uh, scan for the issues. So we'll be going over both of those at least. Maybe a little longer video than the last. And Rhea Ripley, WWE's finest. There's a 10. So at least one of the nieces will be happy. Rhea Ripley's cards, hard to find individually. I don't really deal a lot with, uh, or at all, with WWF or WWE stuff. So I was surprised by that. They don't turn out as many. But then again, they do turn out quite a, quite a few. So it depends on how you're looking at it. James Wood, really? Eight and a half? Chrome Prospect. Luckily, I didn't send uh, one of the autos. So that'll, again, we'll be checking these out. That was a surprise to me. I mean, that was packed fresh. Paul Skeens. Now these, this is the AI variant. I'm trying to remember. I think I might have had one that wasn't 10. Okay, good. Here's another 10. So these, these grade pretty easily. And I haven't checked the prices on these a lot. I think the last time I checked, this was already down to like 80 bucks. So they are grading well, and they are, there's a lot of them being graded. Try to dump those off this weekend. If you're looking for any Paul Skeens, remember I got those 10, or I guess 9 PSA 10s for the, the base chrome. Josh Allen, NFL's finest. Nine. Nice card. See, um, there are some dots right over on the, the right edge in the blue frame part. I can't see a reality where I would have overlooked those and not sent them. You know, on my first time was different. Second time, 
I went over these because now it's a different ball game. But I might have just overlooked that. So let's keep going. Oh, and we, yeah, we'll also talk about. Oh, here's a Kayla Williams card, number 1099. Nine. Fitting that it's number 1099. We actually, well, no, I was going to say maybe make two videos so we can go over each one of these dig reports. As you can tell, my uh, excitement and enthusiasm wanes a bit when we're not hitting more tens. That one was weird. Who do we have here? Ken Griffey Jr., the kid, nine. Not upset, sin as this is a, an older, oh, no, it's, this one's not the older card. I have a bunch of older Ken Griffeys that I'm going to be sending in. See, there's some crap up there. See, now this one. When we, we visually inspect, we can see that easily there's damage. So you're like, all right, yeah, that, that nine makes sense. But I'd still like to understand why Caleb got a nine. And finally, are we going to end on a high note or no? My money would say no, but uh, Junior Caminero, this was another one that was going to be part of the uh, comparison. So we got a nine there. So I'll have to go through the comparison. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it now. I might have another Skeens AI 10 from SGC. In fact, I'll go check real quick. Hold on. Okay, bet I do. So we will be able to auction both of these off on Sunday and resume on Sunday. That will definitely be a, a different video, obviously. But uh, when I do the head-to-head -head comparison, you know what? Stand by again. I might even have one of these PSA. And I'm, I do have more of these. I don't know if I sent the rest to grade. Hold on again. Hold on. Okay, good news, bad news. I do have one from SGC, but they didn't grade the same. So still, I mean, those will go up for auction Sunday to Sunday. These will go up for auction Sunday to Sunday. We'll do a nice little uh, comparison. I do not have any PSA variants of any of these cards, so that sucks. Now I can't remember. There was at least three. Well, one was the Macklin. Who was the other one that I sent doubles to? Probably James Wood. Because, yeah, I have one of the SGC and this also didn't grade well, which was surprising. So that's that portion of the video. Let me clean this stuff up and uh, we'll get into the second half of the video real quick. Okay, so here we are at the tag home screen. If you've never been here before. Their website's pretty nice, pretty easy to deal with. So we're going to go down to order history, second batch here. So let's see. We're going to start out with figuring out why Pete Alonso was not great. So open up our dig report here. So, boom, one graded, pop one. It's always nice to see you get that a lot with tag. So centering, well, first, before we even look at this part, these are the major defects. Now, I don't know why this section is not higher up on the list, so it pops right out at you. But they're saying our major defect is centering. So centering is something that I, I overlooked with this particular card because it's not, you know, square like everything else. But if we see, we do have less of an edge there see i was fooled by the that shape so okay we're moving right along let's go on to the next okay so corners everything else looks good here yeah we have the same issue on the back apparently which mm. okay yeah now i see it so they're calling this the left and not the right instead of this left and that right that's a little bit confusing but now it makes sense when we look at the dig report see on the back Oh, no, no, no. I was looking at it too quick. Okay, so that they are calling at the top. I'm a moron. Sorry about that. So scrolling down, let's uh, continue on. And I guess that was our biggest thing, that that shouldn't take off a point and a half. So again, just like we have seen before, a lot of very high scores, 991 being the lowest that jumps out right now. Indeed, 991 is the lowest there is so let's see if we can see that there's fray on the top left of the front mm. see how our autofocus works today quite well sometimes now we're getting a reflection of my see i I don't know that I see Frey on the top left there. 
I do see a fly flying around. So now the top right is going to be what we we're talking about. I still, I'm not seeing it. So with that, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this section. Although I don't know if this will show Frey as much as it would show, uh, oh, we can't, oh, we can zoom in. Good. All right. Well, still what they're saying is 991 with the magnifying glass and the uh, negative colors here. I don't, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything different there than anywhere else on the card. Now, how do we get out of this? Oh, just close that. Okay. So that's what they're saying. There's some fray there. No dings on the corners. We already knew that. Either way, we're talking about nine thousandths of a of a point there. Who really cares? So everything else, once again, we're at perfect scores all the way around. And I don't understand why it's an eight and a half instead of a nine. So the centering definitely is the, the major issue. And maybe they took off a half a point for Frey being nine tenths lower. I don't really know. That's a weird one. But let's also now check on our uh, Bo Horvath card to give you a reminder of what we're talking about. It was this card. So let's go ahead and select that from our list. View the dig report. Come back over here. Now that's going to populate. Now we already saw that trick. Another pop one. What's up? Same thing. Front centering and back centering. And once again, so apparently centering is something that I, I wasn't looking at very closely, but you can see a much wider margin here than here. And let me go ahead and turn off autofocus since that sucks. The centering issue is, is going to be our problem front and back. It's pretty much the same thing. 38, seven, six, well, not really the same thing at all. I saw the eights. But still. No surface defects. See, okay, now here, 884 for Frey. Then you could say, okay, that makes sense that we would drop it down to uh, eight and a half. Here's 987 Frey. 913. So this one clearly makes sense. To say, oh yeah, this is an eight and a half. Look at all the freight. I mean, not that you can see it in person. In fact, again, I, I had like six of these cards to choose from. I'm definitely calling bullshit on this one. Other than the centering, okay, fine. But the fray, I'm just, it's just not there. Either way. Those were gifts. Let's be happy about that. Raya is a 10. Skeens is a 10. I'm trying to, oh yeah, nothing was really, well, let's look at James Wood. That'll be our last one and it will be a uh, Dunzo so I can start making the comparison video. So here's James Wood. Let's bring him up in our dig report. Pop one again. I'm crushing pop ones. So they're saying there is. A ding on the lower edge. Perhaps we'll look at that a bit closer in just a moment. Centering is good. Nailed it because it's straight edges. Okay. So this is, this is the power. Truly of. The dig report is that they show this part when there is something to actually show. And that's what makes it weird when they don't show anything. It brings the whole thing into question. However. I can kind of see what they're talking about. Let's see how much of a glare I'm going to show you in just a sec. I mean, yeah, the camera's not going to pick it up. You got to look dumb close at that bottom edge. Yeah, the light's kind of picking it up. I mean, it's hard to see what they're seeing here. And their, their light is different. So we're just going to go with that. Let's go back to the report. Edge is mostly good. Fray on the top. That's weird that that wasn't a ding, a dig. But then, I mean, it is over 9.5. We forget that when we see triple digits. 9.6 is still pretty, pretty good. That's interesting. So we got 
966, 966 on two different sections. That's interesting. I wonder how often that has ever happened in the brief history of tag. Now, here's something I just figured out. So you can scroll wheel on these. It doesn't really help because their focus doesn't work all that well. That, okay, so that's neat. Maybe a little bit too much zoom in. Because as we look at that, you, I mean, that looks like it's missing. But that's the corner we're talking about right there. Mm. Okay, well, I'm not going to keep dicking with the focus, so that's that. I wonder now, can we do that up here? Yes, we can. Okay. So that's the uh, the section. In fact, we could do that lower down here too. It's saying that's a major problem. But then down here, bottom left, fill 999, angle 999, fray 991. So what actually is the problem? The fray was on the back maybe? What's confusing is that they zoomed in so much like that color, obviously, is the color of the card. I'm, I'm not seeing this color anywhere. Just confusing. Not too upset. This was really more research once again. And worth pointing out, you can uh, download these images to use them for uh, eBay or any other e-commerce. I'm not sure that I would, though. I'm sure that looks nice, but if we zoomed in closer with the picture from the corner to the corner. All this other stuff doesn't help sell it, really. It looks nice, but that's not going to make it jump off. I'm, I'm trying to get as much information into a, a listing photo as I can. So all this dead space here, that, that doesn't pay the rent. The pictures are nice, though, and that's a nice service. I just wish that they would zoom in a little bit more and stop. See, like that. That's the picture I'm going to post on eBay, not not this. Probably like that, I would do that. So yeah, if they zoomed in a little bit more. And still, that's nice, but it's also misleading. Because of the black background, you can't tell that the card or the, the case is actually clear. In this picture, your customer might be annoyed and think, well, yeah, cool, they're, they're going to look like SGC slabs when I get here. And then it's a clear slab if they don't know. And I mean, you might think, what kind of idiot buys stuff that he doesn't know about? It happens way more than it should. So again, I would take the picture if I was to sell this card and it probably is going to be a tough move for quite a while. But against a background where it would be obvious that, hey, that's not the color of the slab. So something like this where you can still see changes in the, uh, the background. I don't know. That's that. That was a fun video. Not as fun as I would have liked it to be. Pulling more tens is more fun and not getting a, hey, sorry, we didn't do this one. That's also not fun. But there we are. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, definitely leave those down in the comments. Good jokes and bad jokes are always welcome. If you saw something where I was wrong, just like last time, definitely leave that in the bottom. It makes future videos better. It also makes other people who, you know, haven't seen any of this stuff, people that are trying to learn, if we all share our, our knowledge with everybody, everybody gets better going forward. So that's that. Let's just take a look at these tens real quick. And don't get me wrong. I like the strict grading when it comes down to it, but I would have just liked more tens, obviously. Still, it'll be exciting to see what the Skeens card does against the SGC Skeens card. It'll also be exciting to see how my nieces and nephews get upset, or if they even understand the numbers. Hopefully they don't, for now. But of all these, I think this is the dopest card in this set. I would say dopest, second dopest. This is, I mean, it's just a basic photograph. But baseball cards with American flags always get my attention. So that's that. I appreciate you watching. I will see you soon. I don't have any other uh, inbound shipments coming up anytime soon. So you might have to wait today being Thursday. So the auction will start on Sunday for the 
Skeens SGC tag uh, head-to-head contest. That'll be exciting. And then I'll make the video probably a week and a half from today. So it'll be like Monday or Tuesday once it's paid and shipped. Hopefully that goes well and I don't have a, oh, you know, my uh, autistic son pushed the button by accident when I was in the bathroom and my wife didn't realize it was unlocked. How many times can people use that excuse before? I mean, I just block people on eBay now. My block list is getting close to 5,000, I think. Not really. It's in the hundreds, but I'm done rambling now. Thanks for watching, and I will talk at you soon. Peace.